And did you give her, quote her, that fee of $900? I told her $800. Well, then you did an oil change. What does that cost? I did not do the oil change that day. She came. Okay. So he says he quoted you $800. Did you pay him either eight or $900? Okay, so maybe it was $800, but I have a bank statement here like that I took out $900 that I day, so. Listen to me, I don't care what you took out. This is your lawsuit. Yeah, it was $800. This is your, this is your lawsuit. So you gave him, did she pay you the $800? Yes, ma'am, she did. Did you replace the struts? Yes, I did. Did you leave her the old parts? Yes, I showed her the old parts also. And on what date did you return the car to her? Same day. The same day? Correct. Okay, so now you got the car back the same day? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, is a yes. Okay, that's November 16th. And then what is the next thing that's germane to this case? What happened next? Okay, next thing, a few months go by. How many months? It was... February, so... February what? Three, four months, 2017. So about three months later, what happened? I hear a weird sound. Whenever I speed up or turn, there's a knocking sound underneath okay, my car. Okay, but from in November, December, January, whenever up until February, you drove the car without incident. Correct. Okay, and in February, this 14-year-old car with 200,000 miles started to have a weird sound. Yes. And what did you do with it? And then I called my dad, and I made a recording of the sound, and I said, Dad, like, what is this sound? He said, What you does need... your father do for a living? He's an architect, but he used to work on cars as a hobby, like, when he was growing up. Keep going. So I asked him, is this bad? And he said, yeah, you need to take that to a Honda service center. And I, that's what you did. And that's what I did. Right. And then they looked at the car and they told me. You can't tell me what they told you. Okay, so I can't tell you what the mechanic told me. No, that's hearsay. Well, I have a witness who's a mechanic and he can speak about this shock. It Absolutely, is, I'll hear a witness who's going to tell me me as much as he can about that shock. So Honda replaced all the shocks. Did they do anything else in the car? Yeah, they May I please see the bill from Honda? Here's the receipt and... I just want to see what they did on the and car. And here's what they did. Mr. Cardini, what's a rear stabilizer bar. It's a sway bar what actually stabilizes the car from going from side to side while you're driving. It's part of the suspension. Okay, you did not replace that. No, but there's a reason why I didn't so replace it. Why? I called her and texted her and then I said, by the way, I just noticed also there's a sway bar, there's a link that was broken. And then she said, how much would it be to get that thing fixed? I said, if you do it now, it'll be cheaper because everything's taken apart. How much would it be? It would have been like a hundred and some seventy now or 100 at later date, because then you would have to take everything apart again. She goes, can I do that at, you know, on my way to wherever she's going at? I said, yes. And then I said, also at the beginning when she brought the car, I said, mind you, whenever you change the struts on a car, you have to get an alignment done. She asked me if I do that. I said, no, I don't have alignment, but there's a lot of local places, you should get it done. And um, I did the work, I replaced them, I showed her the old shocks, Okay. and okay. Uh, she left happy. Well, she left happy and the car was fine for three months. You're the mechanic? I am a mechanic, yes. A mechanic? Yes. Fine. Step up, sir. Who do you work for? Uh, I work for a shop in Los Angeles. And you work in this place full-time as a car mechanic? Uh, I'm a mostly motor motorcycle mechanic. Do motorcycles have shock absorbers? They do. Different kinds than cars? Yeah. I mean, suspension is relatively the same, but it's somewhat different. Okay. Mr. Ardini, is that the shock absorber you put in the car? They taped it over for... Lately. I don't know why does it... Oh, probably. It looks like it, yes. Good. Okay, what's wrong with it? Uh, there's some broken internal components. Um, it's a nat nitrogen gas charge shock. It should... Can I demonstrate? No, no, no. no. You're not the expert. He's the expert. But, um, He's what you brought. Yeah, it should um, compress with some significant force, and it, it doesn't take very much force to compress it. And then it should rebound, but it doesn't. It just stays compressed. Mm -hmm. So it's broken inside. Okay. Specifically, now, it's hard to say without taking it apart. Now, but. 